Hello everyone, Alpine Mesh here with a new experimental game. I decided I want to uh, take a break from Kitten's game for a while and have something which is much easier to record. And obviously that would be a game with visuals and sounds included. I chose something which I really like, it's Volcanoids. It's the game which I would say is probably not for everybody. I think people are either gonna love it or hate it. I absolutely love the settings, I love certain aspects of the game, but there are also things which are not so nice and one of them are the graphics, because the graphics are hit and miss here. Sometimes it's great like you see right now on the screen and sometimes it's pretty bad, especially the texture quality, so expect something like that. I hope you're not gonna cringe uh, while looking at it, because most of it is pretty decent. So this game is about an island somewhere where strange events started happening quite a while ago. The volcano started erupting on a periodic schedule, let's put it this way, quite unusual. And so people decided to move away from this island to be safe. And we are traveling on a submarine in order to figure out what's going on and potentially stop the eruptions. I'm going to play it on a more difficult level because I already finished this game on a normal mode and I want to challenge myself a little bit and see if I can make it. So let's dive into it. New game, uh, single player of course, hard. So hard means a little bit stronger enemies and a little bit less resources and volcano explosions happen more often it means we will have less time to do whatever we need to do Adrenos used to be a wondrous place a rich and prosperous island home to a busy trading port but that was not meant to last it began when strange formations like giant soil tracks started to appear across the island no one was able to explain how they were made soon after the formations appeared earthquakes followed Weak at first, they grew more frequent and more violent. A few days later, three volcanoes erupted in the island lagoon, hurling stones, sinking ships, crushing buildings. Captains feared for the safety of their vessels. And yeah, I had to interrupt it a little bit because there was no graphics and I think it's a problem with the current uh, build of the game. Something is moving here. Um, and I think it used to be there, but not anymore. But uh, long story short, it was uh, a very difficult time for people to live on the island. So they decided to move out and strange things started happening. So we are going to investigate and see what's going on there. So we came on this submarine called Archimedes and um, we're going to... Uh, explore it first and see what supplies do we have. By the way, say hi to the captain who is sleeping. Um, this guy is gonna be sleeping for the whole game. He's really tired, I suppose. Anyway, let's leave him alone and see what do we have in our uh, chests. There is copper ingot. All these things we need for crafting like copper ingots and other stuff. So we have tools this Range we need for repairing stuff, pickaxe we need for mining, of course. Ammo we need to protect ourselves, we have a revolver, not the best weapon, but quite okay for the beginning. We have med kits, we can heal ourselves, and now I got some uh, copper ingot for crafting. So let's have a look at what we have in other chests. There is some ammo. Um, there is module repair kit. It's... Um, it's a thing we need a little bit later, we can repair stuff with that. Uh, here is nothing, here is two things. Okay, sulfur powder, we need to make revolver ammo and any other types of ammo, honestly. Then, what have we got here? Even more chests, exciting. Uh, medkits, very useful right now. More ammo, perfect. More medkits, great. Now... This is the map of the island, at least the part which is accessible to us. And there are two volcanoes, not volcanoes, the lava lakes. They're pretty hot, so I don't recommend anyone standing near them. There is our submarine, apparently. 
and there are other buildings we can visit so let's visit some of them now here is a little bit more copper tubes just an ingredient for crafting sulfur ore is something we can convert into sulfur powder this is just a spare pickaxe well in case we die and we need another one so i'm gonna leave it here now what can we craft here okay so this is a work table here we can craft a bunch of stuff this is a manual work table so uh, we gotta do it manually here so uh, here is an upgrade i'll talk about it later we can craft more ammo we can craft different components that i just needed for crafting other things we can craft tools here as well we don't need anything really right now modules devices I'm gonna go over it later but for now the most interesting thing for us is this drill ship core drill ship core is a component or a part of a drill ship and I will show you the drill ship later but just to know it's an important thing because we need it in order to get us a drill ship very very soon okay I made one and I can look in my inventory it is here okay I think we're ready to explore what is up there eh, let's close it just in case hey there is another storage with nothing in it what a nice surprise here we go this is the island this is really really nice looking place and because it's so nice look Hmm, there's somebody walking over there. Hmm. Anyway, because it's so nice looking, I suspect there will be problems. And there you see these tiny things walking there. These are the problems. They're not dangerous to us right now. And I want to tell you one more thing. So you can see at the top of the screen, there is a uh, message volcano eruption. And this volcano eruption means that the volcano all oh, right over there is going to explode and erupt uh, right in our face in 6 minutes and 53 seconds. So we need to hide somewhere, otherwise we're gonna die and respawn in this submarine with nothing. And nothing is not the greatest equipment to finish the game. So I'm going to see what we have over there. And I want to be cautious because these robots are not friendly. Okay, this is a resource node. We can mine it. This in particular is coal. It's really great source of fuel. And I think it's the only source of fuel uh, as far as I remember. So now my next goal is to figure out... Excuse me. There is somebody talking. Hello! Ah... Uh... You are not friendly, right? Not at all. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's more of them. Hello? Excuse me? Hmm. They didn't want to talk. I suppose they're not very friendly. What is this? Shredder. Rare component can be used for building basic refinery devices. All right. We'll see what it means later. Copper scrap can be transformed to copper ingots. Good. Copper ore. Good. That's also nice. And this is a copper ore node. Let's get some copper just because it is here. Now. Aha. Uh -huh, there's, the, there's the ship. The drill ship which I would like to have for myself. And I'll see if I have enough time to take control over it. If I don't, I will have to hide back into my submarine. And I think most probably I will not have time to do it, but I just want to give it a shot. Hello? Oh, you're, you're, you're many there. Many of you. Oh, and I don't have so much life left. So, let's see. Oh, you Also, you're fast. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Maybe not immediately. Ah, oh, you're trying to walk behind the view. No. Hmm. Oh, that's a big group of them. Excuse me? A big group. Oh. They are not interested in talking and they are very, very hostile. 
I'm gonna run for my life here. I'm not very proud. Okay, reload and see if I can deal with them now. Hello? One done, more ammo, great. Okay, I just need to shoot them in the head and it makes it easier to get rid of them. You and you and you. They don't like uh, headshots, at least they fall for a bit. Okay, reload again. Hello? Well, where are they coming from? Like, how many am I supposed to destroy now? Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I'm dealing with it. I feel like I'm dealing with it. Okay, less and less of them. Ooh! Wait, wait, where is one? Headshot! Done! Oh, that was intense. That was just the beginning. I hope it's not gonna get uh, impossible later. So we have scrap here and... Hmm, there were supposed to be more of them. Okay, more and more. And even more. Hi. You plan on stopping? Like, is it going to be a moment when they run out of the this metal things or or not? Ooh. Oh, the intensity box shot. Hmm. I wonder if I can make a shotgun. Hello. Oh well. Let's open the door and maybe heal first. Heal up. Is it? Mm. I can. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. I was working hard to get in. You're running away from me. Oh. This is very, very upsetting. Okay. Well, I guess not uh, this time. I guess this is going to happen a bit later. Uh, let me have a look around and see what we have. Some scrap. I'm going to just loot things which are around me and hope the next time I will be much more ready to deal with these guys. So. You can hear the sound, right? And it means that this thing over there is getting a little bit too hot, is getting a little bit too much pressure, and it is going to explode very soon. In one minute in particular. So I have to be careful not to get in the way of all this explosion. Because it can be quite brutal. All right. I have almost no ammo. I have six ammo. Seven. Six in the gun and one and seven in the um, inventory. Okay, so I have more spare parts. Pilot seat. Wow, I can pilot one of these ships. Now, hmm, this is refinery. So it's where I can manually convert uh, copper ore and different parts into ingots. And I would like to also produce some black powder so I can have more ammunition. I need to be fast though, because it is not going to wait for me. The eruption in 25 seconds. Hmm. I think I have to run now. And I'm not 100% sure I have enough time. So let's hope I have 30 seconds, 12 seconds. Okay, okay. This is dangerous. I hope I can make it. Please, please run. Ah, yes. Let's have a look at this marvelous uh, view. This is the explosion and that thing over there, this is the explosion wave that's coming here. And I'll just close the door for a second. Okay. Whew, we survived this time. That was really close. And another 19 minutes to do some things at the outside. So the first priority right now is to craft more ammo and I think I will craft more ammo here because we can and because 
otherwise there will be robots walking all over the place and they will be giving me a headache and I don't want to have a headache uh, I have enough of issues to worry about right now okay so first uh, what I want to do I want to craft as much of this black powder as possible because this is an ingredient for uh, ammo and um, this machine I think works yeah on its own so I don't have to stand there and wait and what do we need for our ammo like I think I, I want at least a 90 ammo we need black powder which we're making right now and one copper bullet casing is a component here copper bullet casing okay I will make three of those because I ordered three batches of ammo and I can hear that the other machine is done, so uh, we can have the black powder from there. Good. Right now, I'll just take it from here, and I open up the interface, and you see it continue, continues crafting, because as soon as I have the required ingredients in my inventory, it will be crafting automatically when I open the interface. It's manual, but somewhat not very annoying. So now I have 97 bullets this should be enough to take over their ship drill ship uh -huh. so i have a lot of healing items this is really good and we'll see if i can actually take over uh, the ship hey i object your uh, actions Good. Objections accepted. And just to save some ammo, I'm going to use my pickaxe. Alright. This is not the best place strategically, so I think I'm gonna flank them. Mm, and probably it's a good decision. Yes, I have a tree now to protect myself. Well, I should have reloaded before, but anyway. At least I have a place to retreat to. Well, and that's exactly the time to retreat, I think. Hello? Okay, one down, one down, and two left. Well, three left. And I don't have much life. Hello? Turun, turun, turun. I wonder if you... Yeah. It seems that it might be that the backpacks are more vulnerable, but I don't know for sure. I want to test this assumption more. Still have enough bullets and heal up just in case, because more of them are going to appear out of nowhere, as they usually do. I think I think it's wise to wait until they open the doors. Can I just Yeah, cool. Nice. All right. So now inside, inside there are these things like that which produce more robots. So what I would like to do is to destroy them as quickly as possible. And I heard one of them potentially making a robot but i'm not 100 percent sure yeah yeah this is what it does you see like when this 36 percent goes to 100 another one is going to come out of this machine and i don't want that okay good now it is uh for now open to us so we can do what i want here for example here is the main storage and we can have a look and loot something for example a grenade which is quite nice um so what i want to do right now i want to take over the ship and in order to do so i need to replace this this is the ship core with mine which i crafted now you understand why i crafted it and Mm, to do so, I need to destroy the modules uh, of the ship. Modules are the parts which are here, like on the outside, these ones. Uh, they do different functions, automate, produce energy and stuff, and I need to destroy them. I'm not sure if I have to do it 100% or just damage them enough. I'll try to damage them as much as I can, because 
I would like to actually use them myself. So we'll see if it will be enough to just damage them. No, it doesn't look like it's enough. Well, then I will proceed with destroying these modules. And a bit more. Is it enough? Not yet. Okay. Well, I'm sad, but I have to do it. Just grab some loot from here. Another one, still not enough. Well, uh, let's continue. We have 13 minutes. We are not in a rush, so let's just destroy systematically everything here. Okay. Let's hit a bit more of them. I think you need to destroy like certain amount of them or I, I, I'm not sure. I'll just uh, have a look at the core because the core look like this. There will, will be a gear falling out of it when it's ready to be overtaken by us. Here, you see? This gear is falling out, now I press activate and this ship has been successfully claimed. It claimed it is ours now. Let's have a look at our new ship. Isn't it beautiful? Red and nice and all destroyed, like all in a huge mess. But we are going to fix this mess and it is going to become our home for the next many, many hours of endless grind. Sounds exciting! Okay, let's check what have we got here. These resources could be useful. This as well, this is not very useful. I'll just throw it back there. This one also we don't need right now. What else? Sulfur powder, great. We have a production station, a refiner station, and these things are automation, basically uh, I can order things here and I don't have to stand and wait like in this uh, workbench. I can just order stuff. And first things which I would like to order is uh, the components that are required to repair our uh, drill ship. And those are... Hmm, yes, tools. All right, bridge replacement. So this is the thing which can replace a wall which has been destroyed. So we need six of them, I think. Okay, we need also six copper bolts and six copper plates. I remember that I have them in my inventory, at least some of them. So I go here, it is the main ship storage. So I open it up and now I can take things from there and put things there freely and I can put 14 copper plates and I can put, uh, we don't have, uh, we have copper tubes, we have copper ingots, these are all necessary resources for crafting and we have two copper bolts and if you can see now there is one and now there is zero copper bolts and now we have more bridge replacement. Why is it so? Because these devices on the second floor can actually use the common ship inventory to produce things and they put whatever they make here back in this place. So it is extremely convenient just to organize your production. Uh, bridge replacement. Okay, let's replace whatever we can. One, two. Um, I guess this could be our door. I think I can rem... No, I will not remove that. I'll just replace whatever we can. Okay, so we need two more. Let's see what is Actually two more. Okay, let's see what is not enough. One copper bolt. Okay, this is a component which we can produce here. Let's make two of them. And you can see the production continues automatically as, as soon as uh, all the required parts are there. So now I'm going to take these parts from here and replace those. All right, so now we have enough <laughs> Well, we have locked ourselves out of the outside, so uh, now I would like to make a door. 
to just go out and it was a door i think it was a structural element so we have a copper door here and i think it was a module with a door and we need production module tier one to make it all right let's figure out where we get the production module okay so we can craft one production module tier one but we okay let's see if we can do it manually uh, module yes we can one copper plate and one copper bolt uh, let's do it manually for now and uh, production we need later anyway okay so copper bolt uh we take one copper all copper plates and we need one copper bolt so i'm going to craft one copper bolt we need copper ingot maybe we can do it automatically here yes we can so we take one copper bolt we go there grab the door grab the copper bolt now i can do it manually here yes it is running now so good now it's done we can put a door where do i want to have a door I, I don't know like i like to have a door somewhere here in the middle so i can just get quickly get inside and up there hmm. so probably i want to have a door in the middle so here you can see at the bottom i can choose what i want to place there there are different modifications of a door and i just i want to see if it i can go outside yet okay I'll just put this one perfect now we can go outside and we can see hey we have a door module and a lot of broken parts anyway I'll just put a door nice now we have a very cozy atmosphere here now I wanna repair hmm let me see another one. What is this sound? Very suspicious. Hmm. I don't know. I think maybe one of the uh, enemy drill ships uh, appeared somewhere. All right. So I would like to repair things. This one I'll repair. And you can see that when we repair things, this module repair kit gets used. It's. Uh, it's not fully used uh, it just uh, it only takes as much as it needs to repair a particular part so this one needs repair what else what else um, and this one as well oh you can see we have a storage module here which means we can access the ship uh, storage from uh, the second floor as well which is extremely convenient now I can just throw things I don't need there and and i don't need to go downstairs to do something so i'll just throw stuff in there i hope i don't need to craft things manually anymore hmm. we have guests hello i was right so probably they uh they parked their drill ship somewhere over there yes there is one and i would expect to have guests from time to time uh, nothing terrible here we don't need the second storage module so i'll probably just going to throw it oh there is something useful here i'll move the resources into our uh, main storage all right so what is the next thing we can do with uh, this uh, drill ship so the next good cool thing we can do is to produce more modules um, and the first one i would like to make is the production module uh, it's required for automation and for for making all kinds of uh, stuff automatically so for that we need three copper bolts this is pretty easy one two three and now we have one intel production tier one so intel is something we get from the research station and we don't have any research stations yet so next thing would be to craft a research station so you can see refinery we can have another refinery and there is a production station here 
but we don't have any research station. More guests. Mm. Hello. You're not very nice. And even more coming from there. Mm. Perfect shot. All right, let's go back to our business. I don't like to be interrupted, but well, until we can craft some automated weapons, it's gonna continue to be like that. Now, I would like to make uh, a research station. So it is going to be a device, a research station. I think we can craft one now. Perfect. And we can take it uh, when it's ready from this storage device. Oh, I turn it off. I turn it off on again. Now we take a research station and now we can place it somewhere. So it is not very important to have access to it at all times. So I just put it here. And uh, let's see. So in these tabs we can do research and how we do research we have different parts of the robots which fall uh, uh, off them uh, when we heal them or i would rather say we stop their uh, movement i don't know they were not alive in uh, at any moment anyway so anyway when we have uh, these parts we can convert them into uh, intel and Intel is the research we use, for example, right now to make a, a production module. Uh, let's see. We need two builder heads to uh, produce this. We have only one. We need two pumps. We have only one. And here we don't have enough resources. But here we have. So we don't really need this uh, refinery tier one right now. Oh, wait. So... There is, there is a problem now because all these sirens are going off and it's hard to talk over them. But what it essentially means is that eruption is uh, soon and we need to go underground with our ship because otherwise it's going to get destroyed, we're going to get killed and we have to start over this whole process again. And this is something I really don't want to do. And to do so, to go underground, we have a very conveniently placed lever over here. So let's do it. Have a nice animation here, which is pretty cool how we go underground. And we're digging the tunnel. We're boring inside the uh, island. And it's done. So now we're not in danger. I think it's also a good moment to end the episode. And I think for the next episode, we'll probably try to make something nice out of this uh, uh, drill ship. And we'll try to see if we have enough resources, if maybe we can, you know, refurbish and reconstruct and buy new furnitures or craft new furnitures and make it more cozy and make it our home. But for now, thank you for watching and leave your comments down below. Tell me if you like it or not. And tell me what's your opinion about the game as well. And see you next time, hopefully. Bye!